I'm Vivek Athipatla. I'm Shana Jumokamga. I'm Izzy List. And I'm Amy Shockley. This is our presentation on the influence of tree density upon the spatial distribution of mosquito populations. This is a little overview of what we'll be going over today. This is the about slide. Mosquitoes pose an ongoing global threat to public health, and it is essential to determine the conditions for mosquitoes thrive. The aim of this project was to identify the effects of tree density on mosquito populations using Houston, Texas as a case study. Houston's subtropical climate and the city's large population of disease carrying mosquitoes make Houston an ideal climate for mosquito breeding and the spread of vector-borne illness. From Houston's data, we can identify the relationship between tree density and tree concentration with mosquito populations to better see mosquito risk. We hypothesize that an increase in tree density will lead to an increase in mosquito populations. The first tools we used for this project was the Globe Observer Program, which focuses on building connections with people and their environments. Globe has two subdivisions that we used. The first was the Land Cover Observer Tool, in which we were able to gather knowledge about the urbanization and land cover of Houston. The second tool we used was the Mosquito Mapper, which we used to get data about spatial distribution of mosquitoes in the context of Houston. ArcGIS is another tool we used in combination with the Mosquito Mapper as it helped us get a map of the mosquito in Houston. Finally, we used JetHub program to analyze the land cover photos and determine the tree density. To start our research, we first selected three AOIs or areas of interest within the city of Houston, Texas. We then utilized Globe Observer, a citizen science application that collects observational data and images from users throughout the world. In this case, we gathered just over 500 photos of land cover data taken by Houston residents within the three areas of interest. We then uploaded these photos and globe data to a GitHub program that analyzed these images and generated plots depicting the tree densities and distribution throughout our AOIs in the general Houston area. We then obtained an ArcGIS polygon layer of our areas of interest and layered it onto the mosquito population data from iNaturalist and Mosquito Habitat Mapper that were in the region. In doing so, we were able to determine if tree density was a factor in mosquito numbers by generating three figures of Houston, Texas, one depicting tree density, one depicting tree concentration and urbanization levels, and one depicting mosquito population levels. The images presented above represent our quantified data of tree density shown in figure A, land cover distribution shown in figure B, and mos mosquito data population shown in figure C. As shown, we have three maps of Houston, each representing different things. Figure A and figure B, the maps of tree density and urbanization are inversely related, which makes sense because in places where there's more urbanization and buildings, there's less space for these trees to grow. Figure C, on, on the other hand, is very similar to figure B, showing a direct correlation between mosquito abundance and urbanization and an inverse relationship between mosquito abundance and tree density, which completely contradicts our hypothesis. The best possible explanation for this is that there's more people in the places that are urbanized, which means more disease vectors for these mosquitoes. And as stated before, in places that are urbanized, there are going to be less trees on average. Therefore, there are more mosquitoes in places with less trees. This doesn't mean that less trees automatically leads to less mosquitoes. It just means that more urbanization leads to more mosquitoes, and this urbanization also leads to less trees. From this data, we can conclude that there's a positive correlation between urbanization and mosquitoes, and a negative correlation between tree density and mosquito numbers. In the future, this data could possibly be utilized in determining which locations and groups are at the highest risk for mosquito-borne illnesses. Places with high levels of, of urbanization are more likely to host more significant mosquito populations, and thus the citizens of these areas are at a higher risk. Going forward, we could expand this experiment by choosing different locations and more areas of interest to solidify our data by cross-referencing any new information with our current data to confirm our findings. Overall, this data refutes our hypothesis in which we predicted that the higher the tree density, the higher the mosquito population. On the behalf of our team, we would like to th acknowledge the people who have made this program possible. Thank you to Dr. Rusan Lowe, Ms. Cassie Sofing, Mr. Peter Nelson, Dr. Erica Potis, and Andrew Clark. And thank you for listening.